Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, let's make a little Puerto Rican weeknight cook with me. So on the menu for today is some long grain white rice, some stewed pinto beans with bacon, very sweet ripe plantains, and some baked chicken. So let's get into it. So to start off tonight's dinner, I have here a baking pan that I'm going to spray with a little bit of cooking spray because I'm going to be baking this chicken. I love baking chicken because it's very easy. All you have to do is just throw it in the oven while you cook everything else, very convenient. So I have here a couple of chicken drumsticks that I have seasoned the night before. This is very convenient because it's been a very long day of work and taking care of my kids and it just makes dinner run a lot more smoothly. So I do have a recipe on how I season my chicken. Um, I'm going to have a link for it down below and on the screen. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. So I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to bake this for about an hour or until it's nice and crispy. All right, so now that I have my chicken in the oven baking, that is one major thing that I do not have to worry about. So here I have a small pot and it's set over medium heat. I'm gonna add a little dot of oil. I do not need too much oil because I'm gonna be adding about a quarter cup of some chopped bacon. And you know, when you cook bacon, it releases a lot of grease, so we don't need to add that much oil. But if you're not gonna use bacon, if you're gonna use something like some diced cooking ham or some summer sausage then you're going to want to add about a teaspoon of oil so that you can saute it nicely so yeah so i'm just going to saute my bacon until it's nice and golden all right my bacon is nice and golden and by the way guys on my channel i do have different videos on how i make other kinds of puerto rican beans so be sure to check those out if you wish to make one of those recipes instead all right, so now that my bacon is nice and golden, I'll be adding my sofrito so that I can saute it in the bacon grease. Here I'm adding one and a half tablespoons of my fresh homemade sofrito. And by the way, I do have two different videos on how I make this. I have an authentic sofrito version, which is my very first video. <laughs> and I also have a basic sofrito version. So something that I learned years ago is that the quality of your sofrito is going to make or break your dish. A good sofrito is the essence of a really good Puerto Rican recipe. Now I'm gonna add some tomato sauce. So I like to add equal parts sofrito and equal parts tomato sauce. So I'll be adding one and a half tablespoons of tomato sauce. Then I'm gonna add one packet of Goya pork sazón. This is optional since we're already adding bacon, but I wanted to up the flavor even more by incorporating this. But again, it's optional. Then I'm gonna add one packet of Goya sazón with culantro y achote. Always make sure it says with culantro y achote, not with saffron. Goya sazón with saffron has its place, but not in this. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of some white granulated sugar and half a teaspoon of some dried oregano flakes. We haven't even added the beans yet and this already smells incredible. So I'm gonna give everything a nice mix so that all the flavors can combine. Now I'm gonna add my can of drained pinto beans. And using that same can, I'm gonna fill it up with water and throw it in there. Now you can add a couple of pieces of chopped potato or a little bit of calabaza, which is uh, acorn squash or butternut squash, but I decided to not do that for this recipe. Just so you know, these beans came out incredible. If you follow this recipe perfectly, it is guaranteed to be a winner. It is so, so good. So I'm gonna cook this over medium low heat i have an electric stove so for me that is about the number four and i'm going to cook it covered for about 20 minutes 
So now that I have both my chicken and my beans cooking, I can move on to my rice. So I'm gonna add about two cups of long grain white rice in my rice strainer. I found this rice strainer on Amazon. It was very inexpensive and it's very convenient for washing your rice. All right, now it's finally time to cook our rice. I have my caldero here. It is set over high heat. I have an electric stove, so for me that is the number seven. And I'm gonna add in my rice. I have here two cups of long grain white rice, three cups of water, about a tablespoon and a half of oil, and some salt to taste. And of course you want to add your rice when your water comes up to a nice boil and if you notice as soon as i added my rice the water stopped boiling that is normal that's because my rice is cold so i'm going to give this a really good stir i'm going to bring this up to a simmer while it is still over high heat all right so my water came up to a simmer finally and I'm going to put the lid on my caldero. I'm going to keep it at the same heat of high heat and I'm going to let it cook for about five minutes. And after cooking my rice in that same high heat for five minutes with the lid on, it looks like this. Most of the water has evaporated, but it's still not fully cooked yet. This is how it should look. So I'm going to give everything a good stir. In Spanish, we call this volteando el arro. I'm just going to use my wooden spoon and I'm going to kind of dig underneath the rice and bring it over, kind of like folding, folding the rice. And I kind of like to bring everything to the middle um, to prevent rice from sticking to the sides of the caldero. So now that I'm done turning my rice, I'm going to put my heat to low. That's about the two and a half for me. And I'm going to cover my caldero and I'm going to let it continue cooking without disturbing it. And last but not least, I'm going to fry up some platanos maduro. I have here a plantain that is deliciously ripe. So let's give this a good chop and fry it up. So dinner is just about done, so I'm going to check in on my rice. It's been about 20 minutes and it came out incredible. So one thing to know about Puerto Rican rice, it is the perfect balance of nice and loose and fluffy, but also a little sticky. and I almost forgot the aguacate, so let me go ahead and add that in there. <laughs> and just like that, my weeknight dinner is complete. So everything took me about an hour to make from start to finish, and seasoning the chicken the night before just made everything so much more 
convenient. And that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's cook with me. If you want to continue seeing more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because a new video will be out every week. Until next time.